Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage, and we're having our monthly tech meet for the Rolls-Royce Owners Club of Southern California. Uh, today we're going to be taking apart a GM Hydromatic 4-speed transmission that they used in the uh, R-Types and uh, Silver Cloud series. Was there a noise associated with that? I don't remember any noise, no. It's still hard banging. The hardest shift on that car was the... Two, three, two, three shift has four things going on inside the transmission, so that's why it's the hardest one. Now I'm going, did I make a mess? Watch your head. So now we're going to pull the four bolts off for the bell housing. It'll all be a lot easier to see soon. Really nice. That was that California special deal. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Are the two halves of that fluid coupling interchangeable? No. One has to go. No, one fits on these splines, and the other one fits on these. Totally, totally different. All right. So now we're getting down there. This big, the, you can see they, 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 it's not turning exactly the same rate. It's because there's gear, gear assemblies in there. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, what should I do next? Can you sit as well so you can see? Can you sit as well so you can see what I'm doing? Watch out there for the oil dripping there, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, all right. Now we're going to take this thing off. What we've got here is we've got, this is the gear selector, this is the, what you call it. If you go all the way back, it locks it in park when it's not running. As soon as you start up the car, it, um, it puts it into neutral. This car doesn't have an official park, permanent park, so you can start it up and it's locked up. So you always want to make sure your handbrake's on. If you're on a hill and you just crank it over, you go. If the parking brake wasn't on, yeah, and you didn't have your foot on the brake, it would just start coasting. It starts in park? There is no park. There is no park. Oh, there is no park. When you turn the car off, there's a valve in here. I'll show you how it works. It locks up, locks up the drive shaft. So it's like park, but not really. Okay. I've often wondered when you pop one, in, like an American car, into park, and you're on a, an incline or whatever, does that put a lot of strain on that particular? Absolutely. There's a parking pole and a gear. Okay, so it actually snap that off or break it, it can, bend yeah. or whatever. Okay, so now we're going to pull this. There is also another two linkages hook up here. You see there's two different size shafts. Yeah. There's a large shaft on the outside, which is the mechanical gear selector. And then you have this smaller shaft which is independent and it's hooked up to the throttle linkage and that's called throttle valve. And that's in combination with other items and that tells the transmission when to shift. Hence the automatic. It never ceases to amaze me how somebody could sit down and figure all this stuff out on paper and put it to work and then make it yeah, I always badmouth engineers, but I'm impressed. Yeah, they use, you keep that make it really funny. You the Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 when you, when, when you assemble this car, or this cover, this side cover has to go on here, it has to be sealed. There's one bolt hole that you want to make sure the bolt's not too long. Uh, it's this one right here. And normally there is one bolt that is... Let me, let me get a little, oh, here's my screwdriver. If, if you go around here, you can see that bolt's, that's a pretty deep hole. This is a good trick, by the way, to see. But this one is only that far as opposed to this bottoms out in the case that far. It's a big difference. Yeah. Um, there, is, there is a servo here that I have seen, I've taken transmissions apart before where they put too long a bolt in and they cracked the servo. And it's cast iron, so it's probably not the best thing to do. All right.
Huh? So one of those bolts in your fist there was short. Yeah. Most of them are short enough to where it's going to be all right, but it's something you want to pay attention to. Now, remember I said the uh, this gear selector. There's uh, there's some splines on this shaft, only in one spot. It's, it's probably about a quarter of a uh, turn or a quarter of the radius. So when it's this is neutral right here. This all turns. You can see it all turns. And then when you go into reverse, what happens? This is the reverse locker. This little thing locks into something there. And there's a valve in here, so when the engine is running and there's pressure in this thing, it, it pushes this out of the way. I forgot. But it, it lifts this up. So then this will turn again. <coughs> yeah. There's a valve in here. So anyways, this early transmission's got a lot of... Uh, External tubes, you'll see a lot more when we get inside. Um, there's one little one out here. They couldn't figure out how to make a passage go there, so that's how they hook up this to that port, this little tube. And when you put it together, make sure it's good and tight. Yeah, really. Is that a seal or just a close No seal, it's just a... The pressure's in here, there's all kinds of leakage everywhere when it's under pressure. It's not a, a super uh, um, tight system. So that's, that's just the way they work it. All right, now I'm going to pull. This is the uh, brains of the transmission. This is the valve body. Uh, one technique before we went through a valve body in front of you guys. I think I took it all apart. Um, this is the, um, the rear pump and governor work off. Of the, the governor's behind here, but this is, I think, the rear pump. Think, no, the rear pump's inside. Anyways, this stuff has to come off to get it apart. So you have four bolts that hold this valve body on. Helps to take them all out. These are long bolts to go through. Don't hit this with a hammer. This is aluminum. It's precious. Just don't do that. Okay. So no gasket in there? No gasket. No gasket anywhere on that. No sealer. Do not put sealer in there because I have, in fact, I think the one that we took out of Bob's car. We should have Bob's. Uh, somebody had used silicone on this. And that just, we'll get into the, these are very um, delicate little valves inside of here. And the silicone will get in there and it'll make them not work right and nothing will work right. You can burn up your transmission. It'll make things do things at the wrong time and burn up all the friction clutches. All right, so now we're going to take this thing off. This has a lock tab for this upper bolt. Oops, it's broken. Not critical. I don't know why they put this on there. Do they normally rebuild the existing tranny or do they just swap them out? and replace it with a rebuilt tranny. This old transmission, you can only rebuild them. <laughs> There's not inventory on the shelf someplace. Oh, well, that, somebody might stock them, but they're rebuilt. They're not, there's no new ones out there. I'm pre yeah. pretty sure that's of that. That's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. that's what I prefer to rebuild the customers. I've got, I've taken a few cars apart, so I have some parts around here. This right here, this, it holds this doodad in there. Parking pole. There we go. So this comes through the case and it pivots on this. Um, this lever that you saw right here. There we go. See how it moves it, this little pin up there, up and down. It has this roller, so that's what locks, does the locking. And like I said, inside here there is a valve. There's this part of the valve here that, that pushes it, pushes it back up. What's called the doodad, you said? It's a doodad. Yeah. It's tech talk. Great tech talk. Uh, this is uh, this is the rear governor housing, I think. What happens is you've got these. Oh, there's a problem right there. Ah, oh, sweet. I like when we find problems. That's bizarre. I've never seen that before. 
Um, this right here is called a governor. What this it has some valves in here that when the, the car starts turning, <coughs> starts moving, so the drive shaft is moving. See how that moves? These things will go up and down. Um, when you get to certain speeds, they go out, and what they do is change the valving, so the fluid directions inside here according to speed. The number one shift, I'm pretty sure, is just governor controlled. So it's usually around 10 to 15. You get that quick jerk. If anybody has a cloud, you know that. That's the number one shift. And that's because of this big governor. That's normal, huh? That's how they work, yes. Uh, these are typically pretty hard shifting transmissions. Did you call it the jerkomatic? Uh, <laughs> at one point? It's been called a lot of things. Um, one note, though, is generally the six cylinder cars, the Silver Cloud One in particular, shifts a lot smoother. I think it has to do with the torque on the engine. The V8s seem to have more torque or more power, or more horsepower, so they shift a little bit harder. It's, it's, it's a, I, think it's kind of a fine art to get these things to shift right. And I guarantee you in 6,000 miles you're going to have to adjust them again. It's just, they're just real, they're not like modern cars. Now the problem that I just noticed is this thing has little rings on it. There are four rings on here, they're called rotating rings. Uh, and you can see this back one, look how thin it is. It's like it's been walking around. Or Oh yeah, they're all different. It's not right. Thicknesses. Yeah, these back too. So this passage right here wasn't getting a good ceiling. So we're finding problems here. You want to see this, Bob? This is Bob's transmission here, or Robert. I don't know which. You see this ring right here? Yeah. See the thickness? See yeah. that one? Uh, see yeah. this one? Yeah. See how it's real thin? And this one's really thin. Yeah. And they should be the same size. They should all be the same size. Hmm. They come. They're identical. Uh, put your flashlight on it. Oh, come on. Come on. I can pass it around. Here's a real. I wonder why that is. I've never seen this before. See how thin that is? Wow. Is it worn thin or they put it in thin? Uh, well, I can't imagine I put it in because I know I did this transmission. I've never seen this before. One place to look would be in here. See any debris? Well, you would think that there might be something in it, but it's pretty smooth. There is one little groove in there. I, I will change this housing now. I know I've got a half a dozen of them. All right, so. What's the material of that ceiling? It's a cast iron ring. Oh, really? It's just an iron yeah. ring, yeah. It's nothing special. So. <laughs> are they broken or are they just? Well, no, they weren't broken. They were just. <laughs> the groove thickness is the same. The groove is, the, the rings are all the same and the grooves are all the same. There you go. Gaskets. All right, I'm going to pull this over here. It looks like they're broken. Pull it. 